Thank you so much to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Squarespace is the all-in-one platform to build a beautiful online presence and run your business. This is most likely incredibly unhealthy, but honestly, look at him. He's too cute. Maybe a little too cute to eat. Little red panda's done. I think I'm definitely more of a sweets person in the morning because everything that I consume is just sugar. It's not too bad, I guess. I like to enjoy my Sundays just chilling and eating some cute toast. I think I want to get a lot done this week, but I'm not too sure how much I will get done, mostly because I've been very distracted by Milo in a very good way. He's just so sweet and cuddly and I just want to spend all my time with him because my time with him is definitely limited, so I want to make every minute count as each minute with him is so precious. So I want to get to the things that I want to get done and illustrated and maybe just have some fun. But before we get into all those things, I just wanted to take some time to thank the sponsor of this video, which is Squarespace. I was really glad because Squarespace was kind enough to continue the partnership with me and it's been such a wonderful experience. So if you haven't heard already, Squarespace is the all-in-one platform for all your website needs, whether it be for a portfolio, for your art, or your shop. I personally use Squarespace for my own art portfolio and I'm also in the middle of making a secret shop. When it comes to running a shop, Squarespace has some awesome e-commerce tools for you to use and also run your business efficiently and happily. And the coolest part is you can also add a lot of your personal flair and touch with their design tools and even color customization. So if you're interested in making your own website, you could go to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch your website, you could go to squarespace.com slash thanks you for 10% off your first purchase. And that's about it. Thank you again to Squarespace for working with me. It's been wonderful. And now I have to get back to work. I just feel like a very big bean today, but I really should get to work. Baking biscuits on my tummy.
I honestly don't know what I'm doing. All I wanted was to make cute pancakes, but cute pancakes were just too hard to make. And now I got this. So I just got back from taking Milo to the shelter because he's on his way to his forever home now. I honestly am a little down about it. I am still really happy that he found his home. And he's actually going to have a cat brother as well, which is really sweet. And they're the same age and I hope he loves everything in his new house and his new family. I'm just a little down about it because I definitely grew more attached than I thought I would. Now that I think about it, I definitely feel like I'm a little too soft to just foster. And I've been talking about this a lot with some friends of mine who have cats and who have fostered in the past before. And they've all agreed, like, there's a lot of people who become foster fails, which just means that they end up adopting their fosters. And I can see why. <laughs> And the other thing that they brought up was just like, it is harder when you don't have a cat of your own. And now I'm like, do I want a cat of my own? The whole reason why I wanted to start fostering in the first place was because I wanted to see if I was suitable enough to take care of a cat and eventually adopt in the future. But maybe that future is now and maybe I'll adopt sooner than I expected. It's hard to say. We'll see what happens. I am just a little sad now. The room is quieter than before and I miss him so much. <laughs> but it's okay. He's in a loving home now and that's what matters most. I'm just glad I was able to give him a little bit of love in between him staying at the shelter and him going to his new family. So my week has definitely started off on a more interesting note and I'm gonna miss him greatly but he's gonna do so well and I'm just happy for him and he's gonna be so loved. I even got him like cute toys and stuff and he really liked it but at least I'll have these for future fosters and maybe an adopter. It seems like pet toys are getting cuter by the minute like what the heck look at this rat this little mouse thing he's a sunflower that's amazing look at his shape amazing shape he would sleep in this little basket and then he would look over the ledge over here. I even got him pet grass because I thought he would like it. He never went after any of my plants, but I just got pet grass just in case and he absolutely loved this. So it was a good deterrent. Wow. What do I even do with you now?
I have some crazy cramps today, so I'm eating some dark chocolate. These guys are so good. Eh, please focus. Man, Trader Joe's snacks are just so good. I love these peanut butter cups. They look so filled with peanut butter. Eh, can I break it? It's time to eat. I'm so hungry. I've also only noticed this now, but my turtleneck kind of looks like a neck brace. That looks cuter. <laughs> So actually, I've been watching a lot of Cup of Jasmine's videos. Jasmine, <laughs> she is great. In her more recent videos, she's been making like a lot of yummy recipes and foods and I want to try some too. I think this week I kind of just want to prioritize my body, my health, and just making fun and yummy meals. Lately, I've just been having way too much takeout for my own good. So I'm just going to prioritize homemade meals that are simple and things that I'm used to or maybe some recipes that are more out of my zone. It's so nice in my room today. I love the light when it comes to afternoon glow. So I guess I'm going to have a really early dinner because I am hungry. Let's go eat! I am starving! Okay. Oh. It looks so good! I got pork belly, lettuce, grilled veggies with some rice and then I'm gonna wrap it in a little lettuce roll and then I've got this kimchi, onion, and chives pancake! I'm taking some time to wind down for the day and so I got to organizing my schedule for tomorrow and I think this is like a really great day to just refresh the day. I like to plan everything the night before just so I have a little bit of structure to start off my day and it's just nice to like wind down and journal a little bit. And speaking of journals, I'm finally starting this guy and I like how everything kind of matches this notebook. It's just really cute. I don't have anything much into it. I really feel like this guy is gonna be more personal to me. I've never really had a journal where I can just vent and I kind of feel like that's necessary at times. But the first thing I did start in it, it's just very heartwarming. <laughs> I just want a little place where I can collect happy little quotes and happy things. And then the first one is, a little hilarious quote from Tiff today. Very out of context, but just really iconic.
morning i got this puffer jacket recently and honestly it's so great i got it mainly because i wanted something to keep me like really warm while i ice skate my mom has always wanted to get me to wear these but i'm like this ain't my style i look like a mom but i realized like she's right this is cool i'm cool moms are cool Today I'm just having a little bit of iced matcha and then also this cognac jelly drink. This isn't supposed to be a meal but I kind of love it for the mornings because I don't eat a lot in the mornings. And this is just a dietary supplement. It's meant to be a little snack in between and then it just keeps you full throughout the day. And I love this so much because jelly is great and green grape jelly is even better. Touching the light, you pull back, flash and delight. Call me when you get back home. Make me right, Manhattan Hunch. Meet me on Tackle Over Circle. I'll be waiting there for you. I just got back from grocery shopping and I got some flowers. Whenever I go to Trader Joe's, I just always go for the flowers. I think maybe like five other people in the store also had flowers in their carts. It's just a great time to just treat yourself to something nice. I just love eucalyptus and flowers so much. These ones specifically because I have no idea what kind of flowers they are but they're like the most dainty and subtle lavender purple and it's beautiful. I also went to the Asian market and I got these guys got the plum one and I haven't had one of these in such a long time so I totally forgot how to unwrap these it's pretty cool though oh no wait I did this wrong oh shoot how can I salvage this <laughs> I guess that's okay Did I not already do this?
I realize that I haven't showed off my island at all, but I have redone a lot of things and actually have gotten back into Animal Crossing. And I've redone the entire front of my island. Ah, look at this little neighborhood. This is where Eric lives. And then this is where Bunny lives. Wow. The new update is coming out in a few hours. It has been an entire year since New Horizons has come out. That is insane. A whole year has passed. Dang. That also means it's been like a whole year since I started YouTube. Wow! It's been very fun. Even though all of my town theme so far is very warm and very fall-like, I might consider going into more like spring core stuff. We'll see. But because I've been playing more Animal Crossing, I've been kind of thinking like, do I want to get into streaming? So if that's something of interest to you and something you might want to see from me, just let me know. Because as of now, I'm not like fully sure if I want to get into streaming yet. I feel like it's something that could be really fun, but I just get very nervous about new things. But we'll see. I just want to play Animal Crossing all day. That's all I want to do now. It's all on my brain. But work, work has to come first. <laughs> I'm actually in the middle of editing this video right now and I wanted to quickly jump on here and talk about a few little things because it has been quite a week. Honestly myself, I am just still processing a lot of things. In most recent news, there was a very tragic shooting in Atlanta if you haven't heard already. What's really horrific about it was that this was a targeted attack and a hate crime. Regardless of what the media wants to label it as, this was definitely a hate crime and out of pure hatred and racism. It's been really concerning to see the violence perpetrated on Asian Americans specifically within the past year and how the rate of violence and hatred has increased over time. And I think it's just hitting a little too close to home now. I really don't have the words to convey all that I want to say, but mostly what I do want to say is please listen to those who want to be heard and who have their own stories to share, and I hope you take care. I have links down to resources and places you could donate down below. There's a lot we have to work on and undo. And yeah, sorry to end this on a more sad and serious note, but it is definitely a very important topic to kind of touch on but i really do hope that you're doing okay and really please stay safe and i'll see you next time bye bye